What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another VGC 2020 best of three video for you guys today. And I noticed something uh, the other video, my microphone quality seems to be declining. I might need to buy a new one. So if you guys can recommend me some microphones, uh, just comment them in the uh, in the comment section down below. And uh, maybe uh, if you guys wanna help me out with that microphone, check out my Patreon, there's a lot of cool stuff over there. But today we're gonna be doing a best of three versus my good friend CJ, AKA Jimbo, AKA Cheemsus Christ. <laughs> But yeah, today we're going to be using that uh, same team that I used in the other video. The rental code for this team will be in the description down below if you guys want to try it out. It's a really fun team. It's focused around Rain, Urshifu, and uh, Kobaberi Amoongus. But today, he told me he had some really cool teams for me, and I'm really excited about this. I actually go to uh, college with uh, CJ. In fact, uh, I took him to a Pokemon uh, or to his first Pokemon tournament uh, earlier in 2020 before the... Uh, before the pandemic and he's been hooked on it ever since so if you guys are excited for this be sure to leave a like subscribe for more pokemon content and uh let's try to reach 150 likes today turn hit the bell too i always say these out of order but let's get into it so he has a lichen rock main or dusk main what's it called lichen rock midnight that's what it's called and whew, i'm kind of concerned about expanding force alakazam but he doesn't seem to have a way to set it uh short of dynamaxing himself so mm, let me think I think for my lead here, I'm going to want to go with um, Incineroar. Like, he might lead off Hitmontop, which I'm not too concerned about, because I can lead off Incineroar or Togekiss and kind of cover my bases there. Uh, in the back, I'm going to want to bring Urshifu, because it does really well versus the rest of his team. Um, like, it's able to uh, pretty much knock out Lycanroc. It's able to knock out the Tyranitar, the Incineroar, and do a lot of damage to the... Lapras. I think in the back here, I'm going to want to bring Spore User, probably. Kind of concerned about... I'm kind of concerned about the Alakazam. I almost want to bring Dragapult, but I almost never bring this thing. Uh, this might be a game for it, though. Nah, I don't think so. We'll bring Amoongus, and I think my last... I think that'll be my last Pokemon. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm excited for this. He's actually a really decent player, man. Like, uh, I, I taught him a lot about the game, but he got hooked on it, and he caught on real quick. He has some, he always has some really cool teams. Let me send him a GLHF over Twitter here. Also, the link to his uh, Twitter will be in the description down below. Go ahead and leave him a follow, he's real funny. Alright, as so he leads off Hitmontop and Tyranitar. I don't know how I feel about my lead. Um, it depends how fast this Tyranitar is. I might be able to parting shot out on it. But he's likely going to want to go for a... Or are you going to want to go for a fake out into either Togekiss or the Incineroar here? Let me think. Tyranitar just barely naturally outspeeds Incineroar, but uh, we see the uh, the Sandstream come out second, so I feel pretty comfortable parting shotting on the Tyranitar here, uh, allowing my Togekiss to live the hit. And I want to immediately get rid of this. Uh, this hit on top so i might just dynamax right away and go for a max airstream because the parting shot should go first uh and we already intimidated it if he goes for a fake out into incineroar uh, i should still be able to live the hit so i kind of want to dynamax immediately i don't really think there's any other play i should make uh i might be able to get in my my urshifu in fact actually hmm don't want to get urshifu in here it does resist both of the moves that uh, Tyranitar could be going for, whether it be Dark or Rock, so I'll go ahead and get it in here. And I'll just parting shot on that Tyranitar, hoping it doesn't Dynamax. Or hoping that the um, the fake out goes into this Urshifu slot right here. As he withdraws the Hitmontop, that's actually probably the best thing that could have happened to me. Ooh, and he gets in his Incineroar. This isn't too bad, though. Uh, the Intimidate doesn't really affect Urshifu uh, as poorly as it would affect most of my Pokemon, since all my moves are critical hits. It kind of depends on, on if he wants to Dynamax here. And I'm anticipating a Rock Slide. So I think here, um... I could get in Amoongus and then immediately switch back in Cinnamon Roll. <laughs> I don't want to give this thing a Weakness Policy Boost, but he's already at minus two. So it wouldn't make that big of a difference, and I can always just get in Incineroar again for uh, another Intimidate. I may actually just go for Surging Strikes and switch back in Incineroar, since I think with this Life Orb damage, it might KO. Let me get in Incineroar one more time. Or he could fake out this uh, Urshifu. 
Uh, I kind of have to play carefully. Kind of have to play carefully. I don't want that hit on top to come back in. So I think I'm going to just... I think I'm just going to detect here. Yeah, that seems to be my best play. Detect will cover the fake out option. Uh, and if the hit on top comes back in, which it is, uh, I'll be able to uh, get my incinerator in and intimidate it. I think this might be a game where I need to Dynamax my Togekiss, actually. Togekiss seems to do the best versus this team, as long as I can keep my Intimidate cycling and uh, neuter that Tyranitar. Alright, here's the Detect. And we see a Will-O-Wisp. Okay, that would have been terrifying. I'm glad I actually made the call there. I was not expecting that. Here, I think it's probably in my best interest to uh, get in the Togekiss once more. And whew, I kind of want to just Surging Strikes into that thing, but I know that Hitmontop's likely going to want to go for a Fake Out into this Urshifu so he can try to go for it one more time. So I think we need to uh, get in a Moongus, as scary as that is. I don't think it'll be going for a Fire-type move if it isn't Will-O-Wisp, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I think my main priority is going to have to be getting rid of the Hitmontop, because it's the most threatening thing on his side right now. So I might just max Airstream into Hitmontop here. If I get that critical hit, and this thing isn't Assault Vest, uh, I should be able to knock it out. Ooh, okay. So he doesn't go for it twice. I actually could have gotten a huge amount of damage off onto that uh, Tyranitar then. There's the Fake Out. Nah, he wasn't going to let it happen. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, here, I'd say it's in my best interest to protect and get in my Incineroar. And then next turn I can try to parting shot out. Or actually, mm, I want to I want to get some momentum going. Like we're in the neutral game right now, and I don't like being in the neutral game too long. It kind of scares me because I feel like at any moment I can make a decision that'll mess me up. And this might be it. This might be it. But I'm gonna go ahead and just go for the max airstream into hit on top and switch in the incinerator, which will make it easier for my incinerator to parting shot out on that tyranitar. And uh, the intimidate will let me live uh, max rockfall, I believe. Because I am running a bit of bulk on this uh, on this Toicus. Kind of curious to see what he goes for here. I'm assuming he's gonna. I, I feel like he's gonna Dynamax. I, I genuinely feel that. Ooh, he doesn't. Okay, but at least I actually get the. Um, at least I actually get the KO on this Hitmontop. Likely, I'm pretty certain this should KO the Hitmontop. Then again, he might be running Wide Guard for um, Expanding Force, but he does have two Dark Types, so I don't really see that being the case. Should be able to build up some momentum here. Alright, here's the Dynamax. And last video, guys, last video I actually, or the last time I did a best of three, I didn't actually have a Dynamax candied Togekiss. I had zero Dynamax levels, which was my bad, but I fixed it before I put up the rental code, so we're good there. Alright. As we do knock out the Hitmontop, let's see if that was a crit. Yep. Gotta love the scope lens, or I think I'm actually running Razor Claw just because it's funny. Like, everyone runs Scope Lens, but I think Razor Claw is the cooler name for the item. If you're going to run Scope Lens on any Pokemon, make it Inteleon, because it's at least thematically appropriate. Max Airstream, go brrr. <laughs> Alright, so. Um, I should have the faster Fake Out, but he's likely going to want to try to go for a Fake Out into my Incineroar. I think here is a good spot to get in the Urshifu and Max Airstream. Yeah, I'll Max Airstream into this guy because I don't want to give him a weakness policy boost. And I'll just get in Urshifu. Hopefully not into a Max Rockfall, but 
can't really uh, control that here. He's likely going to go for a fake out into the incinerary slot anyways, preventing a uh, preventing a parting shot. And then I can always max Starfall the following turn if I end up living this hit. Yeah, there's the Dynamax. you got for me, CJ? Get the max airstream off. Hoping for a crit here, it'll do a lot of damage. That doesn't look like a crit. Uh, however, that means that if I do get the crit in the next turn, it will knock it out, which is super, super nice. The only thing is he didn't go for fake out, so if he called the Will-O-Wisp, I'm going to be real upset with myself. And he gets the max knuckle, too. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. He might have actually taken out my airstream with that. There's the parting shot. Okay. That's what I needed to see. That's exactly what I wanted. So now we get to see his final Pokemon. I'm thinking it might be Alakazam. Lycanroc. Ooh, I'm kind of concerned about Scarf Lycanroc. That might be an issue. That might legitimately be an issue for me. Scarf Lycanroc can uh, KO like either one of my Pokemon right now, I think. Then again, Urshifu is going to be faster. He could max guard. And I'm kind of concerned about that. I think... This is this is tough. I think it's in my best interest to max Airstream into Lycanroc and Surging Strikes. Because I feel like he's going to max guard his uh, Tyranitar here and try to knock me out. Hoping for the best here. This might be the wrong play. I might, I might have just needed to... Uh, double into this Tyranitar slot. And the reason I'm not going for Max Starfall here is because I really don't want to give this thing a weakness policy boost. Like, I'd rather just get the speed than give it a weakness policy boost. I'm kind of trying to stall out its Dynamax turns. Because it's got one more turn than I do. At the moment, at least. As he doesn't go for it, which is a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying. I'm kind of hoping he just targeted into this uh, Togekiss slot. Because I should be able to knock it out next turn. Or even just switch out my uh, my Urshifu and play my cards right. I should be fine. But I'm hoping he went for Max Rockfall into the Togekiss. As we get to see that beautiful animation. And it only needs to hit once. Take a little bit of Life Orb damage as well. Really hoping you target it into the Togekiss here. There's the max Rockfall, please. Yes, okay. So we're losing the Togekiss, but it isn't too bad. I'll be able to get in my Incineroar here and get Intimidate off. And likely be able to Parting Shot out. I do have to be careful, though, because uh, the chip damage from the Sandstorm plus the... Uh, <laughs> Plus, the uh, damage I'm going to be taking from Life Orb is really, really substantial. In fact, yeah, I'll go in. I'll go into Incineroar here. And I should actually be faster than his Incineroar. And now we have this uh, Tyranitar down to neutral. So I think it's in my best interest just to fake out into his Incineroar and then uh, Surging Strikes into it for the KO. And then I can deal with the Tyranitar with whichever Pokemon survives between Incineroar and Urshifu and Amoongus. So I'll go for this fake out into his Incineroar. I'm faster than it. I'm pretty certain. I actually wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm faster. I'll go for the Surging Strikes into it as well. For all I know, he might fake out into the uh, into my Incineroar. I actually wasn't paying attention. I saw the two Intimidates come out, but I can't remember the order. I'm so bad at that. That's my thing. That's the thing with me. When I play, like, I'll start talking, and then I'll stop paying attention to the game. Even though I'm talking about the game. That's, like, my, my biggest flaw. He's thinking about it. 
This is like a game deciding turn. This turn decides the game. It's really close. I have to get rid of Incineroar though if I want to win with Amoongus. Because that, that Tyranitar is... Yes! Okay. Beautiful. Good game, man. That was an intense one. That was a really intense first game. Alright, so now Close Combat picks up the KO. But I could do it with Surging Strikes for style points. And technically, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys something. Technically, I haven't revealed close combat yet, even though it's a given with Urshifu. If you're in a best of three and you haven't revealed a move yet, and you have the option not to reveal the move, just don't. Just don't. It's it's a really good thing not to re reveal that move because it leaves a level of uncertainty for your opponent. Or actually, I should close combat. He hasn't taken any damage. <laughs> I'm kind of concerned Surging Strikes might not KO, so I'll play it safe. Never mind. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to take that risk. I know I could win, but for all I know, I'll give it a weakness policy boost, and then he just rock slides my entire team to death, flinching the Amoongus. So, I'm going to try to play it safe. Okay. Alright, man. So, we got some information. We haven't seen the... Yes, I want to receive your lead card. I don't know how I don't have it already. We, uh, we received some good information there. Uh, we know the Incineroar carries Will-O-Wisp. We know the Tyranitar has superpower on it, likely, if not Brick Brick. It, it's a fighting move, so we have to be careful with Max Knuckle. He just responded, uh, I told him, like, good game, that Tyranitar was scary AF. And he said, uh, yeah, good game, I was hoping you would die to Life Orb. Dude, the Life Orb damage, it was coming close. It was coming close there. Alright, continue with the Urshifu Rain. So I'm almost tempted to bring Politoed this second game because it has a really good matchup versus his Incineroar and his uh, Tyranitar. But let's think about it. I have to see the rest of his team. I have to remember it. He might adjust and bring the... and bring the... um. Alakazam this game since it has a really good matchup versus Urshifu. So once again I think I need to lead off in cinnamon <laughs> in cinnamon roll. <laughs> and uh I think I think I just go with the same lead I did last time. It seems solid. Yeah, I think I bring the same mons. Aqua Jet might be important in the end game. But I, I like what I did last game. I'm not gonna adjust too much. I'm just gonna play a little bit differently. By the way, guys, how would you feel about having face cams for these videos? I've been thinking about adding face cams to the videos. Like, I had them a while back, and then I just took them away because it felt like a lot of work just to doll myself up for a Pokemon battle. <laughs> I would, like, I'd be like, okay, I finished working out, I finished doing my homework, time to go take a shower. I feel gross. So, yeah, comment, comment what you think about that. Alright. Let's see if this thing's inner focus. It's not. It's no guard. I think it gets Inner Focus. I can't remember. And uh, that Alakazam is also not Inner Focus, which is really nice to know. Ooh, I'm actually not in a good lead. Because if that's Scarf Lycanroc, this is going to be a really big problem. I think I could take one hit from the Lycanroc and go for Fake Out into that Alakazam. Then get in my Urshifu and probably get a KO with Aqua Jet. And I'm going to be targeting into that Alakazam with this, but I expect either a Rock Slide or a Stone Edge to go into this Incineroar slot. There's the Fake Out. Stone Edge. Don't crit. Alright, cool. Yeah. So, the reason I was able to tell it wasn't Inner Focus, and I was I felt safe going for the Fake Out, was entirely because uh, if it was Inner Focus, it wouldn't have gotten Intimidated. I think it's within range of Life Orb Aqua Jet, but I'm really scared. I'm kind of willing to go for it, but I'm also very concerned. We're, we're going to do it, though. We're going to do it, though. I'll go for the Aqua Jet. Alakazam is really bad physical defense, so I'm willing to go for this. Come on, baby. Yes, okay. 
So we managed to get rid of one of the most threatening things in this side of the field. And Lycanroc is at minus one. Amoongus doesn't appreciate that, actually. 30% is not a comfortable amount for Amoongus. And now I'm concerned about, like, Hitmontop coming out. Lapras. Okay. Lapras isn't too bad. This might be a Gigantamax game for, for Urshifu right here. I think it's time to Gigantamax the Urshifu. Alright. Um... I think Amoongus just stays in. He might be Insomnia Lycanroc, which would be concerning too. We, we don't know. I think it gets Insomnia. I, I feel like I'm just pulling these things out, out of like thin air. Does it actually get it? I'll go ahead and I'll go for a Spore into the Slapper slot. I shouldn't need Amoongus for the rest of the game. Er, mm, no. I think I have to Surging Strikes into Lycanroc here. And go back into Cinnamon Roll. Yeah, the reason I'm doing that is because I'm pretty certain I would just give it a weakness policy boost if I Dynamax and Max Knuckled, and Close Combat would knock it out either. Even though Close Combat's stronger, but you, you know what I mean. <laughs> I might be able to Dynamax this uh, this Urshifu for the thumbnail. For the thumbnail. There's the Stone Edge. I don't live it. That's fine. That was mostly just to preserve Amoongus. <laughs> we get the Surging Strikes. I'm wondering what he's going to go for here with his Lapras. Is he going to Parish Song? Icy Wind? Something? I don't know. I was expecting, like, Freeze Dry to go into it. But we do know now that that is, uh, that is Scarf on the Lycanroc. And there's the Freeze Dry. Hopefully I don't get frozen here. That could actually... Ooh. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt real bad. Let me get in the Togekiss. It's time to follow me. <laughs> I still haven't Dynamaxed either. I think I can win this. But it's going to be real close, actually. I kind of messed up. I, I like mentally checked out and forgot that Urshifu's a water type. Because I, it doesn't look like one. <laughs> um... I don't want to Dynamax Urshifu, actually, as much as it would be good for the thumbnail. Let me actually get in... Let me think. I'll just protect here. And I'll go for a close combat into this, uh, into this Tyranitar slot. Hopefully it doesn't protect, but yeah. I think it's in his best interest to Dynamax his uh, Lapras here. He goes for the Tyranitar. So it might actually take the hit, and then that, that uh, weakness policy we might be giving it. I don't know if it can take the close combat, to be honest. I have not ran this calc, but he might have. We go for this Protect, anticipating an ice uh, an ice move, probably Freeze Dry. I get my close combat off, as we do manage to knock it out. Okay. I'm probably going to go down to the Life Orb here, but all of my remaining Mons are really Lapras weak, so I'm going to have to Dynamax my Togekiss to win. But I think we have this game. Jeez, both games he like had me on the ropes right at the end. Like right at the end we had like game deciding turns. Like if I made a wrong decision, he would win. Alright. So I think I'm good here. I should be able to just max airstream and spore. The reason I'm sporing is because, I, I don't know, I just want to play it safe. If I get frozen on my Togekiss by like a freeze dry, I should definitely be going for a spore here to at least give myself a couple of turns to thaw. Gotta minimize the risk. I have like two play styles. Super risky and literally playing with like bumpers. Like if I was, like if Pokemon was bowling, I would have bumpers. As we get the speed boost here. He goes for the freeze dry. 
into the Amoongus. He's going to be doing a decent amount of damage here, but I am specially defensive, and he gets the crit too. Am I going to get frozen? Okay, cool. I get the spore off, and I think that's going to be game. All right. So I don't necessarily agree with the play he made earlier where he Dynamaxed his uh, Urshifu, and we actually see a Citrus Berry on this Lapras. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily agree with the play earlier where he Dynamaxed the Urshifu. I feel like if he Dynamaxed the Lapras, I would have been in really big trouble. But, uh, you know, that's just the way it is in Pokemon. Sometimes you make an off play. Especially when you're backed into a corner, it's really easy to make a play that might seem, uh, that might seem right in the moment. But I think this Giga Drain might just pick up the KO. Lapras stays fast asleep. He be snoozing. And Giga Drain does pick up the KO. So I'm going to send a GG his way. I'm going to tell him Scarf Lycanroc is actually a concern. All right, though. So, yeah, if you guys want to check him out on Twitter, he's really funny. He has some really cool teams like you just saw. Uh, go ahead, follow him there. Follow me on Twitter as well. If you want a best of three me, you can DM me. And I will actually see you guys in the next video. Have a nice night. And, uh, yeah, see you. <laughs>